What's up guys, it's Chris here. I try to make helpful NFT and crypto content weekly. So if that type of thing interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Almost at 5,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much who are subscribed. But without further ado, I wanna talk about something pretty important today. Shout out to Randy Chavez. I have it pulled up right here. He pointed out in one of his videos yesterday that Gate.io is actually disallowing US citizens to trade OMI. So that's kind of scary, of course. I'll go ahead and link the video there so where you can go watch it yourself. But the first thing that came to my head is just with so much fear and uncertainty going around everything in the world right now, uh, no matter where you live at, no matter what country you live in, it's a little bit distrusting for me to keep all of my money on an exchange. And a lot of people who've been in crypto for a while will tell you that, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, nothing in this video is financial advice. If you want to be safe, this is one of the ways that you can be safe. And that's by transferring that crypto from a centralized exchange to a wallet like MetaMask or Trust Wallet. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take your OMI directly out of BitForex, but this works for other exchanges as well, into your MetaMask wallet. Last thing I wanna say, before jumping in is I do actually have a video that I'm pretty much step by step on how to create a MetaMask wallet. If you want to find that video, you'll have to go to my videos. I can actually link it down in the about section, but the name of the video is how to buy your first NFT on Immutable X step by step. I show you in that video how to create a MetaMask wallet. And I also stress the security concerns. Do not write your seed phrase down to where it can be seen on camera. Do not screenshot it. Don't type it in on your computer. Do not send it with anybody. Don't share it. You know, there's so many things that you want to do just to make sure that uh, that seed phrase is concealed. And if you wanna take it a step further, and this is also what I recommend, I have one myself that I'm not gonna show in this video because it's a little bit longer process, but conveniently Kyle Wilson just made a video. If you do have a cold storage wallet, like a ledger or a Trezor, you could even keep your crypto or your OMI on there. So that's another way to be even safer if you are a long-term investor. So before we dive in, let's assume that you have your MetaMask browser up on your extension and you're ready to withdraw. You do wanna make sure that you have the Ethereum contract address, not the GoChain, and that you are withdrawing the ERC20 OMI from your BitForex. In order to do that, you will, I have this on one of my previous videos as well, uh, or the one with the sweepstakes. You will need to go to import a token. You'll need to go to something like CoinGecko and make sure you're over the correct token, which is the ECOMI. You could even go into the white paper just to completely verify. But you can see like the little Ethereum symbol right there. All you have to do is copy this contract address and paste it into the section to where you import your tokens. Again, if you are looking at your MetaMask wallet, uh, there's a section that says import and it allow you to do a custom import. You copy and paste this and it should fill it out for you. If it doesn't fill it out for you, uh, let's say assume you're doing it on your phone and it doesn't, you can actually go to the Ecomi white paper and just copy everything, the, uh, the decimals and the contract address and all that and you can custom add it that way. After you do that, you can head on over to Bit4X. While this step might seem pretty obvious, I still, again, just wanna do step-by-step step for people who might've never done this before. And for the record, Bit4X hasn't given us any direct reason to be scared of the platform. But again, just in crypto, if you're a little bit uneasy with centralized platforms and you're trying to get your OMI out, this is how you do it. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that so it's as if I'm looking at it for the first time. You're gonna select a token and you're just gonna type in OMI and you're gonna pop up right there and then you're gonna select the chain name. Again, you are if you're sending to MetaMask, please be sure you're sending to your, you have your Ethereum mainnet in your MetaMask wallet and that you're selecting ERC20. After you collect that, uh, this will pop up like this. It'll say withdraw address. So this address is going to be the very easy to copy and paste address in your MetaMask wallet. It's your main Ethereum address. So if you have an ENS, you can use that. Uh, if you don't have an ENS, you can just use, use that long string of numbers that all you have to do is click and paste it there. After you paste it, again, just double check, triple check, make sure that's the right address that's on your MetaMask wallet. Scroll down here, you wanna enter in how much you want to withdraw. For the sake of this video, I'm actually not going to withdraw any live. It does take a few minutes. I think it took like five to 10 minutes last time. But basically while you're waiting, after you hit submit, it's going to ask you for verification. So it's gonna send you an email with a code and it's gonna send you a text with a code and then you confirm both of those. And then you just wait. And uh, what you can do is you can go back and refresh this tab a few times. That's what I did. It will actually show you down here how much percent has sent. So you can keep on refreshing that. The first time I looked, it was 25%. And then I looked again, it was 75%. I waited a few more minutes and then boom, my OMI arrived in my MetaMask wallet. That's all I have for you guys today. Again, I don't want the point of this video to make you be terrified of exchanges and send your money out immediately and accidentally make a mistake. I'm just saying if you do want your money off of centralized exchanges and at the end of the day, yes, not your keys, not your wallet, 
this is how you do it. I hope this helps. Again, if it did help, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video for the YouTube algorithms. And until next time, peace out.